In the complex trauma gym, Staff Sergeant Steve Sampher is working on his long rehabilitation programme. He spent five years at Headley Court after losing a leg from a bomb blast in Afghanistan. He's one of the patients who's moved up to Stamford Hall to continue his rehabilitation, and he is impressed with the new centre. It's a lot more, how can you put it, uh, it's med for purpose. Basically everything is where you need it to be, uh, electric doors, uh, showers, that's, uh, showers, shower, shower seats, everything's purpose made for us patients. Things were built on the complex at Headley all over the place to, to suit and where it'd fit. So, for instance, if we wanted to use a big gym like this, we would have to go on a ramp or jump in one of the buggies to go up to the main gym. New technology has also been a big part of the move to Stamford Hall. Its biomechanical lab is much bigger and more advanced than its predecessor. Using the same principles as Hollywood animators, the treatment teams can track the movements of patients and then analyse their unique needs. With the reflective markers placed onto the body, we're able to glean a vast amount of information about the way he's moving. Now that we can feed that back to the clinical teams and they can start to make bespoke care pathways or rehab programs based on the information that we're seeing from these sessions. And as he walks over the plates in the floor, we can get an idea of how he's distributing his weight. And if he's overloading certain parts of the body, then we can maybe tailor the rehab to, to stop further injury potentially. They also have some entirely new technology at Stamford Hall. It could be mistaken for some kind of fairground ride. This is actually a computer-assisted rehabilitation environment, one of only five in the world. The wraparound screen can be used for a range of things, from showing patients on the treadmill how their body is moving, to turning the world around them to see how their brain and body cope. That's because many patients here have suffered injuries to their brains as well as their bodies. Well, Corporal Adam Nesbitt is recovering from a serious road accident and he says the kind of care that he's getting here is absolutely essential. I think it is very important because that's how, because of how my head injury works, I, I struggle with change and much change on things. So when I see how, how much work they put in and how much effort everyone puts in just for me on my own independently, it helps settle my brain down massively and how it all works and I can then just understand it and believe them more and just deal with it. For the people who work here, one of the important elements of Stamford Hall is the environment it creates for them to work with patients. There is great emphasis on not just rehabilitating the wounds that can be seen, but also damage that cannot. There's always psychosocial overlay with any physical condition, so although we're predominantly a physical rehabilitation centre, obviously there's no health without mental health as well, so um, we very much look at both. Stamford Hall is four times the size of Headley Court, but that extra space is not being used at this stage as a way of treating more people. The focus has been on improving the environments that patients live in or visit. They all loved Headley Court, um, but their real differences are here in that, uh, specifically, they all have their own room. So at Headley, they still shared a, you know, a four-man room. So there was no dignity or privacy, especially with some of our very dependent patients. They all have a fabulous uh, bespoke uh, single, you know, single room with a fantastic wet room. So they actually can go away and uh, you know, just meditate and, and, and reflect on, 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 their, on their treatments. Stamford Hall is currently only for treating serving military personnel. Veterans can be referred by the NHS for assessment, but part of this project is to share the lessons learned from treating the traumas of war. A second civilian centre is planned for the site within the next few years. It will enable the sharing of knowledge and skills to help all who have suffered complex traumas to recover as best they can.